Welcome back to another edition of 60 Plus Seconds, some of the ugliest creatures on the planet. Now, the ugly stick of revolution, not every animal is as cuddly as the giant panda or as extravagant as the peacock, but every animal has its role to play and every organism is important. Sorry about my voice in this video guys and girls, I've been sick all week so I just wanted to make sure that I got this video out and I hope everybody enjoys. My name is Mike, I'll be your host on this episode of Cruel Mother Nature Jokes. So let's get this party rockin'. Let's start with the California Condor. One of the world's rarest birds and North America's largest flying land bird, the California Condor is a graceful animal when it's gliding high above the canyons and deserts of the American West Coast. But up close, this bird isn't so photogenic. Kinda looks like Roseanne Barr, eh? Bald head is an adaptation for its lifestyle as a scavenger. You know, since a feathered head would become clotted with blood while well, this bird feeds on large prey. Next up, we have the naked mole rat. It must be difficult to maintain a vibrant self-image if you're a bald rodent. Aha! Oops, sorry, uh, wrong photo. Uh, but it's not an issue for the naked mole rat. These animals live underground in an insect-like colony. So in reality, they have very little need for good eyesight. Their hairless bodies are also an adaptation for the underground environment. Interestingly, Naked mole rats are also among the longest living of all rodents given their size. They can live for nearly 30 years. They have a remarkable resistance to cancer. So my question to you guys is, does this mean wearing your birthday suit 24-7 is the key to a long life? This ugly gremlin looking creature is called the Aye-Aye, Captain. Actually it's just called the Aye-Aye. It's actually a primate found in Madagascar. Aye-Ayes have a number of unusual traits including a long, bony, witch-like middle finger that they use to pry insects and grubs from tree trunks. I bet you they pick their butts, too. This allows them to fill a biological niche, much like the woodpecker might. They are nocturnal, only coming out at night. You would, too, if you look like that, I suppose. Uh oh bad joke time. You know you've been beaten with an ugly stick when you go into a haunted house, and you come out with an application. This next ugly bugger is the monkfish. These very freaky-looking fish are commonly eaten delicacy, why? I have no idea who would want to eat something like this. Monkfish are so grotesque, they've been confused with the legendary sea monster called the sea monk. And lastly, we have this sexy little bugger, the giant isopod. This predator lookalike is a giant isopod. Its technical name is SpongeBob Isopod Pants, a carnivorous crustacean that spends its time scavenging the deep ocean floor, up to 6,000 feet down on the seabed where there's no light. In the pitch black and cold, they survive by feasting on dead and decaying fish and other marine animals. Walking dead anyone? This little bugger is the stuff dreams are made of. Imagine waking up one morning with one of these on your chest? I'd like to see if you went into panic mode or not. And that's a wrap for this edition of 60 plus seconds. I hope everybody enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you again in the next episodes. If you have a video request, don't be shy guys. Put it down in the bottom there and uh... I'll hook you up and put you in line for one of the next videos. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like this or any other video that I've done, click the like button, show me some support and subscribe. Thanks again everybody and have a nice day.